the submissive sex. The hippo is a truly fascinating creature. The male hippo stands at about 1,5 meters tall and has been known to weigh up to two tons. Every school child knows that hippos need fresh water in which to fully submerge and support this huge mass. The water also needs to be drinkable and their preferred feeding places are within one to two kilometers of good water that is at least 1,5 meters deep. They can swim on the water's surface or underneath, remaining submerged for up to six minutes. Nostrils and ears can be closed to prevent water ingress. This yawn, where the hippo displays the tusks, is a sign of dominance and a signal to intruders to keep away. At dusk, hippos leave the water to graze through the night. 99% of their food intake is fresh grass, yet hippos don't actually eat as much as you might expect given their huge body size, approximately 12 kilograms a day. Hippos give the impression of looking a lot more docile than they really are, but beware. They are officially classified as the most dangerous mammals on the African continent. Stay away from hippos and take extreme care if planning to view them. Male giraffes in the southern African Lowfelt stand at 5,5 meters at head height. They are larger than the females and have two felt-like horns which are thicker. The front legs are straddled with the knees bent to reach down and drink water. In this position, the giraffe is very vulnerable. They only drink if water is available, but can survive without it. The mother stays closely protective of her calf. This mother-child bond lasts until her next calf is born, and the maturing calf has learned the life skills needed to survive. Young giraffe are regularly killed by lions. Only about half survive their first year. These giraffe are feeding on protein-rich leaves and shoots at the top of acacia trees in the Kruger National Park, the most important source of food for giraffes. Twigs and branches are pulled into the mouth by the giraffe's long tongue. Small twigs are chewed and swallowed, including the thorns. They also eat the flowers and pods of certain trees. All is washed down with large quantities of digestive saliva. Notice that they soon move on from one tree to the next. This is because the acacia tree has a natural built-in defense mechanism. When eaten, the tree exudes a bitter chemical substance, tetanin, noxious to giraffes. So they have to be quick to avoid the bitter substance contaminating their food. The Hemsbok, with its characteristic long horns and three-colored hide, is a desert animal, adapted to survive in regions without surface water. They're commonly found across Namibia and Botswana. These Hemsbok are filmed in the Kalahari. Hemsbok obtain their water by digging for bulbs, tubers, roots, and desert fruit. They graze principally at night, when their body temperature is cooler and the moisture content of the grazing is higher. Both males and females make full use of their long, sharp horns for fighting to demonstrate dominance. In contests, bulls sometimes stab backwards over their shoulder, puncturing their adversary with their tips. The horns are also used for defense, slashing against their predators, such as hyena. Long-legged and slim, these cats are built for speed. Unlike the leopard, the spots are single and not formed in groups of rosettes. 
There are also distinctive black tear stripes running from 